Hi traders, this is Tiago and welcome to Bull and Bear Futures channel. If you're not a subscriber, please enjoy the channel. There's a lot of interesting stuff that may help you in your trader's journey. Okay, today I'm going to talk about why and how price move. If I ask you why price moves, you may say that it's due to macroeconomic condition and perspectives, geopolitical issues. But here I'm speaking, I, I'm telling about operational terms, why it moves and, and not get stopped, not get paused. And we are going to walk through some tools that we can see things happening and how it happens and how we can read this, how we can work, because as an order flow, order flow trader, not purely order flow, but as an, I, I have the order flow in, my, in, my, in the core of my strategy, it's very important to know each of them. We could start here from the list of tools. Okay, we have the level two, the times and sales for metric bars. Then I will show you how the, the data flows there and how price move, okay? Here's the level two. Uh, probably most, most of you have never seen this. We have the depth of market in Superdome many times, but it's currently not that used. In the past, level two was almost the, the only, practically the only, only tool we had. And here was possible to detect support, resistance, according to the size of contracts, because we have here the number of contracts. So depending on the amount of contracts, you could define your strategy. You could identify trades and supports and resistance. Okay. Currently, due to the in the last decade or 10 or, or so, more than 10 years, without the algorithm trading, it's hard to see. We do not see many contracts here, but the robots or the computers in milliseconds put micros milliseconds put contracts here, and so we cannot detect, we cannot see this happening. So as a, a decision making tool, it lost kind of the, the its representativeness. Here is the times and sales where it's displayed every single contract. Besides showing real time these trades, we can realize we can see who was the responsible to close the trade. In the case of the orange, the initiative has been taken by the seller. In the case of green, it has been taken by the buyer. And here we have the volumetric bars, okay, where we show the amount of contracts transacted in each level of price. So in level two, we have the intention because there are the contracts in the book. Times and sales, we see in real time what's happening. And volumetric bars the, is uh, uh, only one bar of the footprint chart. We can see the accumulated transactions, accumulated amount of contracts traded. Okay, in each level, the right side means the amount of contracts that was traded due to a buyer aggressive order. And on the left side, we can see the trades that were closed due to a selling aggressive, a seller's aggressive order. And here, just to illustrate, I'm giving a simple example. We have here this level two with the, the, the best bid here is for a thousand and the best ask is a thousand point twenty five, ten contracts in each level. Here you may see there were 10 contracts in the 4,000 and now there was an aggressive order of five contracts that we see Hester here in, here in the times and sales. And so now we have only left five contracts in the first level, in the first price of the level two, okay? So after that trade, we have another selling order, but now it's a six contracts selling order, okay? Since we had only five there, we have ha recorded, there were actually a five contract trade registered in time and sales, and it was one contract left here, now in the ask price. 
okay now this five contract buying order find only one contract at 4000 there that is, has, is shown here okay and then four contracts have been remaining at the best bid price okay now just to represent including the volumetric bar we see here that there are 10 contracts were due to selling aggression and one contract due to a buying aggression here so we close the three tools from the fundamental of the the order flow now we are talking about how actually price moves having explained this mechanism if we have if we see here the same level 2 okay let's say for example there was a 10 contract aggression at the 4000 okay so this is Hester here it has disappeared here from from the bid and it was also record hastered here at the volumetric bar and then suppose that there was another one of 10 contracts that consumed all the liquidity in the the bid side here and consumed the 99.75 10 contracts now we have 99.5 here we have also all this aggressions hastered here at the volumetric bars and then to finish the example there is another 10 contract order here that consumes all the liquidity in at the 99.50 okay these three trades hastered here hackered here in the volumetric bar as well we are seeing only selling aggressive orders no buying aggressive orders okay and this sequence of aggressions and consume this consumption of liquidity here makes price moves so i've mentioned that in the time and sales you can detect which side was responsible to close this is a crucial info this is a crucial crucial information because it's detecting who is who is being res the responsible for closing the trades is an important info for us to get clues about where price could move so this is the mechanism behind the candle for example if you trade in a 2 5 or 15 minutes you have many sometimes uh, hundreds of transactions within a candle in a candle okay so having this information this real-time information can be very helpful this was a short example of the mechanism hope you have enjoyed and in the future i will make other videos telling about absorption and exhaustion using the same system thank you so much